I mean, sorry, two years ago today. It feels like 50 days. <laughs> Whoops. Doesn't it? No? <laughs> my gosh, how much has happened. I used to have color in my beard. Anyways, um, two years ago today, my family and I loaded up on a, on a plane. And uh, we landed here in San Diego. Can you see how excited they are? <laughs> Super excited. The, the, night, the night before we were looking at, out at the, the, we watched the sunset, our final sunset in Honolulu. We were looking out on, on the water and we were all just blah, bawling, you know. We, just bawling. But you and I have to ask ourselves, are we willing to choose God's presence over our plans? I mean, what's more important to you? Your plans or his presence? And what really matters the most? And when it came down to it, you guys, as awesome and incredible as that experience was, I just wanted to be with Jesus. And if Jesus was asking me to go to a new place and a new people and a new church in the middle of a pandemic, then if that's where he was, then that's where I was going to be. <clears throat> And we had no idea, none of us did, but we had no idea what we were flying into. <laughs> yeah, how many of you guys have seen that movie, The Perfect Storm? Yeah. Yeah. George Clooney, right? Yeah. Based on a real life event in 1991, considered to be one of the worst storms in history. A cold front from the east coast of the United States created a low pressure, which met a high pressure ridge from Canada and the Atlantic. And the encounter of the two fronts pulling in the aftermath of Hurricane Grace that was still in the area, caused these three things to converge and create the perfect storm. And you can just, if you've seen the movie, you can just picture that little fishing boat, you know, going up, the, going up the wave in the middle of that perfect storm. When we go to that picture, we were flying into a perfect storm and we didn't, we didn't know that we were going to be flying into uh, racial unrest, a worldwide pandemic and political upheaval all coming together at the same time, not just, of course, in San Diego, but literally everywhere. everywhere. And if I had relational cachet with you, that would be one thing, but you and I didn't even know each other. And I'm flying into the middle of this. And you can see there, I, I love this, uh, this little me meteorological picture there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It says remnants of grace. And here, yeah, go to that next picture. Here's what I'm flying, and, and that's me. I'm, I'm using the mask. I had no idea how divisive just that mask is going to be at that point, because I was early on, early stages of the pandemic. And I had no idea that I was flying into, but I love what Pastor Wayne says. The faith is walking out in advance what you only come to understand in reverse. And I was asleep because I was exhausted. We got everything packed up in our pods and had it shipped over. And here I am asleep. But I look at that question, and I, I look at me sleeping, and me not even understanding what it is that I'm flying into, and I go, that's a perfect picture of the grace of God. There was only remnants of Hurricane Grace left, but the th only thing that's taken you and I through everything that we went through over the last two years is His grace.